Hi friends, today we are going to start writing our first C program. Now before we write that, we have to set up our system for it. So this is known as environment setup. Now if you have a Unix machine, you will need an editor uh, like Emacs, Nano, VI and a compiler uh, which is essentially GCC for Linux and for Windows you can use an integrated development environment like Eclipse or we can uh, simply use Notepad for the editor and MinGW for the compiler. MinGW uh, stands for Minimalist GNU Compiler. Uh, GNU for Windows actually, yeah. So uh, what we need is just an editor and a compiler. Now depending on what system you have, you can install them, right? So we will see the uh, first program, uh, how to run it on both the systems like Unix and Windows. Now before that, let's just see what the first program looks like. So the first thing we write is hash include stdio.h. This is a preprocessor directive. What it means is uh, this is the processing which is done before this file is passed to the compiler for compilation. All right, so we'll go into details later. For now, just accept that you have to write it. Next, we write int main and we enclose it uh, using curly braces. So this is basically where your program starts running. Every time you run your C program, it looks for main and whatever is inside main, that starts executing. All right, and then we write printf hello world slash n and return zero. That's all. A very simple program. How it runs, what is happening behind the scenes. We'll keep understanding things later on. So now let's set up our Linux environment for it. Uh, open the terminal. And if you do not have nano or even if you want to check whether you have it, you can simply write sudo app get install nano. So it'll install it and if you already have it, it'll just upgrade it if there is any upgrade available. Then we write nano hello world.c. So this opens your nano editor and the file called hello world.c. If a file with this name already existed, that would open. But since it's a new file, here's one that's created for you. And uh, we note here that all your C programs have .c extension. All right, so a normal editor uh, would save your file with .txt. Now, if you want it to be a C program or for your C compiler to understand that it is a C program, you have to give it the extension .c. We start writing the program just as we had understood it. Hash include stdio.h, int main, printf, return zero, very simple one. We then save it. Once that is done, we write gcc hello world.c. This is the command to tell the compiler that you have to compile this file. By default, all .c files, they will go as a.out. So a.out is an executable. Uh, in the previous video, we had understood how the computer understands our language. So we are writing a high level language program. It is converted to assembly and assembly is converted to machine code. This machine code is called executable. Okay. So a dot out is that. Uh, now when I write a dot out, it just runs my program. So it start, started running from main. Since we had asked it to print hello world, that's what it prints. Same way we'll see how to do this on windows. So instead of uh, running it on Eclipse, I'll rather suggest that you go by the basics. Like it's always better to learn programming on a bare command prompt instead of a proper development environment. So we just open the command prompt and on the notepad, I create the same file as I had done on my Linux terminal. So once this is done, we save the file. We go to the command prompt where we go to the directory where we had saved this file. 
and then we compile it using this command g plus plus hello world dot c minus o and then whatever name we want to give to the executable like in linux we had a dot out by default we could have changed that as well similarly here i want to name it first so that's what we do and i press enter it is compiled and turned into an executable now when i write first our program executes it's as simple as that now going forward we'll try to understand each and every element of a program how we can write complex programs this was like one very simple one and i'll be illustrating the uh, programs in on a linux environment but now you know how to do it on windows as well